Hello HP Touchpad users, great news! CyanogenMod Mod 11 ROMs have started to become available for the HP Touchpad. That's right, check it out here in a post by iMark90. iMark90 has recently brought us updates for the Acme installer, versions 4 and 5, and newer flashable zips for a Clockwork Mod and Twerp to update. Big thanks to him for his continued support of the HP Touchpad. In addition to these great new builds, iMark is also informing us that a new kernel 3.4 is being worked on for the HP Touchpad. This has been done by Invisible K and Flemmert. Big thanks to those guys. Here is their GitHub. You can check it out here. This would be an absolutely huge step forward for the Touchpad. We have not had a kernel update in a long time. I think it's one of the reasons we stopped getting official builds and all that. Uh, so it would be really great to see. So we'll keep you posted on what happens with that. And now for some breaking kernel news from Flintman of the Evervolve team. He has already made an early Android 4.4 test build available with the 3.4 kernel. He notes that audio does not work, Wi-Fi works, and of course big thanks to Flemmard and Invisible K for getting this kernel up and running for us. Again, very early build. Back up, back up. There could be bricking issues, all kinds of problems test at your own risk. You can check it out here in the OP of his Android 4.4 Evervolve build here. And here it is right here and of course a big warning to touchpad users. But big thank you to Flintman, Invisible K and Flemmer. This is absolutely a fantastic huge leap forward for the touchpad. So I'll be keeping you posted on updates with this. Please check it out. And now we're back to how to install these great builds. You can check the video's description for my full how to install Android 4.2, 4.3, and now 4.4 builds on the HP touchpad threads. I have them at both roots and XDA. Here's the clean install instructions, how to change your system partition, clean install video, dirty flash instructions. Click the link here for the dirty flash video. Definitions of these terms by mpgrim2, thanks to him. Here you can check out the latest information on KitKat builds for the touchpad. Here's Invisible K's Android 4.4 CyanogenMod Mod 11 unofficial build links right here. Now unfortunately he doesn't have a forum link out, this is probably why it's the first time you're hearing about him now. But he's got some great builds, you should definitely check them out, they've been added to my listen guide here. Now this build has a low to medium battery drain, as low as minus 4, but spiking a little more than the regular builds. Hardware video works, audio and mic works, this is a test build of course, so please make a backup. The camera works fine, uh, but there is no Bluetooth currently, but that might be coming very soon. This EM build does not use the data media clockwork mod setup like Milax build, so you'll need to know that if you're coming from there. Now, Windows users may need to do the following in order to attach their USB cable. There's a few little instructions here. Don't forget to tap the notification on your device at the bottom. That might be all you have to do if you've already done this procedure for a different ROM like Evervol. Further down the page, you'll find links for JC Sullen's latest Bluetooth build based on Milax nightly builds. You can check them out here. He's got Bluetooth working. I have a new video talking about that from just the other day. Great news. And in a little breaking touchpad news on Bluetooth, just a day after, Dr. Marble announced it right here that Bluetooth was working. JC Sullen's had cracked that nut and figured it out for everybody and made it available here for developers. Milak has picked it up and already added it into his 10.2 builds of Cyanogen Mod on the HP touchpad. You can check it out here. Of course, all credit goes to James Sullins for this incredible work. And it's already being picked up and incorporated it into ROM. So you can check out his builds here. Should be available anytime for the developers to pick up. So they'll just add it to their ROMs when they get a chance to. So be patient if you have your particular ROM that you'd like to see it included to. Go post in the forums and let the developers know you're looking forward to that. Please subscribe to see the latest updates with the HP touchpad and Bluetooth support. Thanks for watching everybody.